let's get things started. Ready? Go! Hello and welcome to Bounding in the Comics. My name is John Trent. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief at Bounding in the Comics. Today I got a story about Goldie Hawn agreeing that Hollywood should, quote, save their lectures for somebody else. Hawn, known for performing in Rowan in Martin's Laugh-In and playing Joanna and Annie in Overboard, recently appeared on Megyn Kelly's Sirius XM program where she discussed Hollywood and celebrities' role in society. Kelly opened this segment stating, I think it's why it drives people crazy when Hollywood tries to act holier than thou and tries to start lecturing middle America about morality and so on, and people sitting in Iowa who have never tried to put something at a casting couch or do what Al did or any of this, they're like, you could save your lectures for somebody else. Han wholeheartedly agreed, stating, that's right, exactly. The overboard actress then elaborated, Hollywood and a lot of Hollywood has a lot of mission, right? And you want to put your name onto something you believe in, but it doesn't make a difference, and that's the reality is that if you are someone in the industry and you want to go into politics or you want to talk about these things, you know, I stay in my lane. But the reality is, is that if we want to do anything, we want to do it for all people, not just for a group or whatever. What makes polarity even more is creating teams on either side of the aisle. And I don't think that's what we do. I think we entertain. I think we bring awareness to people just of their ability to laugh, to have joy, to experience it, to cry. She concluded saying we are emotional beings and create emotion and in others and it's an escape. I think we're in service. Han isn't the only one to note that people are getting fed up with celebrities and Hollywood studios lecturing them. Actor and comedian Ricky Gervais recently spoke with The Sun regarding his 2020 opening speech from the Golden Globes. Gervais reflected, 2020 was my favorite one. That one captured the imagination. The first time I did it 10 years ago, everyone was like, ah, how can you talk to these wonderful multimillionaires? How can you talk to these beautiful people like that? We love celebrities. He added, by the last one, it was like, God, give it to them. We hate celebrities. Gervais went on to explain why he believes the public perception has changed. He said, I know what it is. With all of the austerity and people struggling, they think, why are these people lecturing me? They're going to an award ceremony in a limo and are telling me to recycle. People just got sick of it and just got sick of virtue signaling. And they were like a beacon to aim their wrath at. Gervais concluded, the people with nothing became tired of being lectured by people who had everything. Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak also got in on the act recently. He sarcastically tweeted, there's an alarming trend developing in which people are paying less attention to celebrities who are telling them how to live. Please, folks, we have been chosen to be celebrities for a reason. Ignore our experience and our wisdom at your own peril. Thor actor Anthony Hopkins, known for his role as Hannibal Lecter, also expressed a similar opinion to Han. Speaking with Brad Pitt for Interview Magazine back in 2019, Hopkins said, People ask me questions about present situations in life, and I say, I don't know, I'm just an actor, I don't have any opinions. He added, Actors are pretty stupid, my opinion is not worth anything, there's no controversy for me, so don't engage me in it, because I'm not going to participate. He would later add, In America, they're obsessed with healthy food, they tell you if you eat junk food, you get fat and you die. Well, television is run by money and corporate power and sponsorship. It's junk food for the brain. Toxic. I have to, to agree with Goldie Hawn and Megyn Kelly. I think people are sick and tired of Hollywood who acts holier than thou trying to lecture us about what is right and wrong. Especially when you have a guy like Harvey Weinstein who was dominating Hollywood for decades and no one said anything about it. And in fact, they were actually trying to actively silence people who even thought about saying anything. Not only that, but you have celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio jet-setting around the world in their jets, private jets and their huge yachts, telling you that the world is going to end in nine years due to climate change. Well, he's not really taking it seriously if he's flying around in a jet and spending all of his time uh, sipping margaritas in his yachts or whatever he drinks. I don't know. No one wants to hear that from him. No one, like, especially when you're just living the, living, living the life like uh, Ricky Gervais was saying. We want to hear from these people who have everything, trying to tell us how to live. And you just look at all of these actors and these celebrities and these Hollywood studio executives' lives. I mean, they have a laundry list of problems. I mean, how many actors uh, and Hollywood people have had overdoses in the past decade? I, I can't even count them out. I mean, there's so many to list. And it's not just overdoses. I mean, just look how many of them just go out and are partying all the time and just like, at, like just getting so drunk, they have absolutely no control of themselves anymore. They probably don't even know where they are and they have to check themselves into rehab. And it's not just for alcoholism and drugs, it's for any number of problems that they're having to check themselves into rehab for. These people are, 
not role models. They are not paragons of virtue. They are not people we should be looking up to. And the fact that they try and lecture us and try to act holier than thou and try to tell us how to live moral lives is just absolutely absurd when their example clearly shows that they are not doing that. So yeah, I think Goldie Hawn is right. People are fed up and tired of being lectured by these Hollywood celebrities and you know, in all honesty, it's like, yeah, they should stay in their lane and they should be, they should be actors and their job is to entertain us and that's it. That's my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you think. My name is John Trent and you've been watching Bounding into Comics.